So you want to go from the right side and as you can see right here right there that's the cat and this is for the code P0420 so P0420 it's right there And this will we'll be taking out today. So this dry chef right here have to come out. There's no if ands buts about it. It has to come out. It has to. So I don't know what size this is, but I think I'm gonna need to go to the store and get one of these. But yeah, we're taking this uh catalyst converter out. I used to always call it a Cadillac converter. Went to AutoZone. But that's how most people pronounce it. When the auto's like, hey, can I get a Cadillac converter? But it was like, what year's your uh, Cadillac? At least you should have told me, you know, it's a catalyst instead of Cadillac. But yeah, you got me. So this is a 36 millimeter. So next. So I'm gonna loosen up these nuts right here. I mean bolts. Pull them out and then just wiggle this out. Pull down the rotor and hit in the well you can see the axle right here. You can see it's moving already. So that's a good sign. Don't have to do too much work there. This is the whole thing just moving. Let's set this right back up. Yeah, 
gonna get some WD forty. Spray it. No, I should have did this before. Because of the jack on there. The jack's gonna put it off of this. So this is not like on the, the, this is the passenger side. The driver's side is in the transmission as well, but it'll, it, it'll leak transmission fluid. The right side shouldn't because the shaft, it shouldn't. But let's see.
Okay, let's see. I'm just trying to figure it out. It should just slide right off. Camera ran low on battery. So I got the, you can see it's been taking me a long time. I got the axle out. I had to pry this part off. And it was a pain in my butt. But I got it off and I took that cover off over there. It's right there. The cover off too. So right now, it's good. That's where it go. That's where it go. Now I have access to the catalytic converter. So what I'm gonna do first, my plan is first, now is to take that cup, the shield off and see can it come down like that. Cause I know it's too thick to come down as a whole with that piece being in the way right there. So I might have to take that piece off right there where the axle is at. And I know that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see if I can take it down and see what it wiggle itself out and see how much leverage I have. And I just let y'all know, cause I can't hold my phone up nowhere here where y'all will be able to see. So uh, I'm gonna work on getting the camera. All right. So here I am again. It's the next day. Uh, I got two bolts stuck. Well, they're not stuck. They still haven't been untightened. Well, I had. So this is the 12, they are 12 millimeter bolts. So this is the toy that I was working with at first. Pretty short. I couldn't really use it. So I went to AutoZone and got this toy. And this one is better. It's longer. And you get both of those bolts that's off down here by this oxygen sensor. See the... Trying to look on the camera. See the oxygen sensor right here? Well, you can't see down in there. It's right there. I need to turn my flash on. Yes. So they go to the oxygen sensor right here. So the bolts are like one is right here with my finger that I know y'all can't see. And the other one is down diagonal to the right below that. But that 12 millimeter, that's long one right here, this one will work. But I do recommend if you have a, uh, what is that? This one right here, excuse me. See it say, see this one say 12. See I got this one for autos on, it say 12, but on the other side is 13. So I unloosened the top bolt with this one, but you can see it's so short that I couldn't get the sack one. So I used this one to get the sack one. So now I'm just gonna finish undoing that sacking bolt with this long extended 12 millimeter. And uh, after that, I'm gonna pull that catalyst converter out. And uh, of course, take the oxygen sensor apart from it and then go from there. So here go the old catalyst converter. Yeah, you can't. When I looked through here, you couldn't see no daylight whatsoever. Do that. I broke this oxygen sensor at the top, so I'm gonna have to get another one. Man, oh, bless. You got a piece right here. So now I gotta find out where it go. Somewhere behind there, but let me let y'all see up under here. Oh. oh, so I took all the whole pipe off just so I have more room and pretty much have to. Oh, oh, and this how it look. That's where the catalyst converter sit right there. So see those little faux stem or prone, whatever you call them, sticking out? Sit right there. So 
Make sure when y'all take that out, if you have it open to expose whether to cover it up, I covered it up with a towel. And I drained my transmission fluid over there. But here go the old O2 sensor. That I'm going to just go ahead and replace it. Save me the hassle. Uh, yeah, it's right here. So I'm just going to get a new one of these two as well. And now you just do everything in reverse. I'm going to put the catalyst converter on. Well, the gasket first, then the catalyst converter. Uh, of course, the oxygen sensor. Once I get that on, I'm going to go ahead and put the little shaft that goes right here. And then it's bolt right here. It's bolt on these three. Right here, one two and it's a third one somewhere they both on right here the part I'm talking about is oh it's right there this one right here that one right there there you go it's right there after that I'm gonna put my uh, whole dry chef in and then put the exhaust back on here you know this is also right here and after that, put that bolt back on the roller. Put the bolt back on the roller. Oh, don't forget about this shield right here. Put this cover on. And this cover is for this. Right here. It's for this. So put that on. Mm, before you put that on? Yeah, before you put that on, put, this, put the cover on first, then this one. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh man. So yeah, I did I'm put the put it on through here. And put that thirty six millimeter bolt that goes on here. Use my chassis, hammer it down so it lock in place. So it'll be locked in tight. And brake caliber back on. Put the tire back on, and that's pretty much it. It took me... I've been working on this for a day now because of other stuff. But if I had the right tools at first, instead of going back and forth to the store, I would have had them. And I'm going to try to make a list or show you a display or whatever, all the tools that I use. Yeah, 
don't work it. So I got the exhaust and everything back up. Got all three catalyst converters hooked up. They go one lead up there. They go the other one right there. And then they go the, the one to the muffler. So now I'm going to fish this boot. You know, grease it up real good. And it's black cover that goes in there. It, I don't know what's going on. It won't go back in there. So what I'm going to do is put the booty in first and try to see if it'll line up with it. Because I tried to put it in just now. And I've been messing with it about 30 minutes. It won't go in. Well, it fit in there. But I, I did it with this right here. And it, I'm guessing this has to go first. The whole boot system got to go first. And then that little shield. So... Yeah, that's it. So, see what happens next. So, everything is done. Uh, I put everything back together. And now, I just got my flash not working. I don't know what's going on. Hope y'all can see, but now, putting everything back together now. I'm about the Lord, so I can tighten up the uh, studs, the lug nuts on the rim. Pretty tight. I'm exhausted, man. Yeah. Got everything back in there. Uh, finally got that bracket for that. So you have to go to AutoZone O'Reilly for that bracket on the uh, dry shell, the shell, the uh, CV axle. Just get the universal uh, clamp, and it should go on that smooth. Make sure it's big enough, though, and it should go on that smooth. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty, I'm pretty beat up. Took me two days, but I saved $1,200. So, yeah, I'm pretty beat up. But that is all. Uh, before you do it, make sure you drain your transmission fluid. It will help you out. And yeah, that'll be y'all. Uh, drain the transmission fluid. This cover that sit over here by this shell over here. Make sure that you uh put remember how it go and put it back the way it go. It goes on after you put that shaft. So put that shaft first, then put it on. I was having a problem about trying to put it on. Uh and then the shaft, then the shaft, I put it on. And then I was trying to put that shaft, that CV axle in there, and it would not go on for nothing in this world. So I just repeated that and uh, figured out what it was. So make sure that you put that cover, that that shield, that CV axle shield, 
on after you place that CV axle in. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'm pretty beat. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, my two day video. <laughs> and uh, thank you for watching. What you gonna say, Zai? Ball. Ball? Okay. You ready to play ball, huh? Say bye bye. Tell them bye bye, Zai. You gonna say bye bye? Hmm? Look, who it is? Look, look. Mark.